hey everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm back with another video and this time i'll be doing a beautiful set of yellow summer nails so sorry i thought i was recording earlier but i wasn't that's why i'm starting halfway through the process but first thing we're doing is we're going in with this yellow color by madame glam in the color mimosa and then to clean around the cuticle area i'm using my two in one cleanup and nail art brush which will be on my website tomorrow so stay so stay tuned for that so once again we're just doing this on all her fingers except for her ring fingers we're going to be doing a design on that one Alrighty, so now we're going to go in and do a second coat of that same color and we are curing each hand for 30 seconds after each coat. And for that I'm using my Melody Susie UV LED light and I do have a promo code for that as well so I'll leave that in the description. Alrighty, so now I'm going to go in with the other side of my brush, which is my nail art brush, and we're going to do a couple of flames. So I am using that same mimosa color, which is the gel polish, and then I'm just drawing the little flames. As you can see, I start in the middle, and I kind of just wiggle my brush around, and you could have a picture to kind of, you know, use as the reference, but I kind of just freehand it. This one, which is why I kind of looked a little crappy, just a little bit, but it still looked pretty good. So once again, we're using that same gel polish by Madame Glam in the color Mimosa. And then we're going to cure this one for another 30 seconds. We're going to do the same thing on the other hand, draw the little flames. And then we're going to come back with a regular white nail art paint by Broadway and just outline the flames. Alrighty, so once again, we are going in with a white nail art paint by Broadway, and I get these from my local Dollar General, and it's just a white nail art paint. Um, so we're just going to outline the little flames, and as you can see, I'm kind of wiggling my brush around. I don't want it to be straight, you know, perfect lines. I want it to kind of have a little, you know, texture to it, I guess. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other hand, and you don't have to cure this one because it is regular polish. Once again, we're just outlining the flames in white. And for that, I'm using this regular paint, which is the Broadway nail art paints. All 
Alrighty, so now we're going to go in with some bling. And for that, I'm using my Mia Secret Gel Resin and my Wax Pencil, my SS6 and my SS12 Bling, which I'll have the bling and the wax pencil on my website tomorrow. And also, I've had a lot of people asking me about the Mia Secret Gel Resin, which is basically just the glue. It's just a little bit thicker. It's more of a gel-like, but you do not have to cure it. And they do have a... Um, what is it called the Mia Secret Gel Resin Activator which you spray it over the nail after you apply the rhinestones and it just helps the glue dry a little bit faster you can use it without the activator but it helps to use the activator because it just basically freezes the glue into place and I actually feel like it makes the bling stay on better with the activator so I'll leave that link in the description I do get it from eBay once again we are using our bling which is the SS6 wax pencil and then the Mia Secret Gel Resin and the activator as well. And for my top coat, I'm using my IBD gel top coat. I also get this one from eBay, so I'll leave that link in the description. And after this, we're going to let each hand cure for 60 seconds. Alrighty, so same thing for the other hand. As you can see, whenever I'm applying my bling, I just brush the glue on the spot where I'm going to apply the bling. And then I pick up the rhinestones with my wax pencil. And then if you need to add more glue, you can do so. But you don't want to just add a whole bunch at one time. Just add your glue as you need it. And after we apply our bling, we're going to apply or spray the activator on it to help the glue dry. Same thing for this hand after we apply the gel resin activator we're going to apply our top coat and for that once again I'm using my IBD gel top coat and we're going to let this hand cure for another 60 seconds. So now I'm just going to apply a little bit of cuticle oil to her cuticles and just gently massage it in. So this is the final look. They turned out really, really pretty. That yellow is just beautiful. It's so bright. It's just flawless. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram at GetNail32. And I'll see you guys in my next video.